again, everybody, and welcome to the official weigh-in for Glory 75 at Utrecht. It is nice to be back in the Netherlands. Of course, we have fond memories of the Netherlands many times here, but we are here to kick off the 2020 season of Glory Kickboxing, and I know the combat sports world has been anxious for us to get back on the stage and for these great athletes to get inside the ring following a historic night in Arnhem with over 30,000 in attendance at Collision 2. But we will get things started in Utrecht coming up tomorrow night. I want to welcome onto the stage, first of all, some important people before we get our fighters on onto the scales. First of all, our managing director of sport, as always, is here to oversee our uh, weigh-ins. Cor Hemmers is with us today. Also from Talent Operations, Ramon Dalder is back with us. Our glory girls directly behind me, Stephanie and Bella, are here as well. And uh, from the International Sport Kickboxing Association, Raffles LaRose will be here to get our official weights as well. We are not going to waste any time. We've got some great fights coming up, including, of course, five rounds for the featherweight championship of the world. We'll get to that coming up as your main event tomorrow night at Central Studios in Utrecht. But we have some uh, new faces, some new names, and it's always exciting for us to see you know, maybe we've got some new talent that are going to make big breakthroughs on the world stage, and we will get right to it with two glory debuts in the women's super bantamweight division. It is Almira Tincherina and Lorena Klein. Tincherina will get onto the scales first. Out of Russia, making her professional and glory debut, she was a gold medalist in the IFMA World Championships last year, but as an amateur, 22 wins with just four losses. 54.4 for Tincherina. Now here is her opponent fighting out of the Netherlands, Lorena Klein. Also, glory debut, the Lady Pitbull comes in 29 wins with 12 losses. Four of those wins coming by way of knockout. She was born in Colombia, raised here in the Netherlands, started her kickboxing training at age 18. 55.1 for Klein. <laughs> Women's super bantamweight action coming up tomorrow night. The second of our preliminary bouts will take place in the featherweight division. Antonio Campoy is back for another uh, fight in glory, along with another debutante, Bowie Zonefeld. It's Campoy onto the scales first. Fighting out of Barcelona, Spain. 20 wins, two losses, four bouts scored even, and four career knockouts. Made his debut in Dusseldorf last year at Glory 69. El Flamenco, a winner of three of his last four appearances. 64.4 for Campoy, a WKN Spanish and European champion. Now his opponent making a glory debut, Boy Zonneveld. Zonneveld fighting out of Beverwijk, Netherlands. Three and three on a young professional career on a two-fight winning streak. Originally trained in karate and judo as a young kid, but found kickboxing at age 11. And here he is stepping onto the world stage. 64.8 for boys on a bill. That's the way we get the night started with the uh, preliminary bounce of the evening and then the Glory Super Fight Series. Again, we have another Glory debut. Si Jun Jin is here out of Seoul, South Korea to take on Vincent Fosciani. And again in the featherweight division. Si Jun Jin will get onto the scales first. I mentioned fighting out of Seoul. 19 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, 10 of those 19 wins coming by way of knockout. His nickname, the Korean Psycho. Winner of three of his four bouts in 2019. 65 even for Jin, who, by the way, 
has done most of his fighting in Korea and Japan. He scored a 21-second first-round knockout. Vincent Fosciani is back, making his second glory appearance out of Constance, Germany. Twelve professional fights consisting of seven wins, five losses, five of those wins coming by way of knockout. The Viking, a seven-time ISKA amateur world champion. 64.6 for Fosciani. Fosciani, by the way, made his debut in Strasbourg at uh, Glory 64 versus River Daz. These two scheduled for three, three-minute rounds. And from the featherweights to the lightweights, it's Bruno Ghazani and Mohamed Hendouf. Both of them undefeated inside the glory ring. We'll get Ghazani onto the scales first. He's back to fight for glory from Sal Bernardo do Campo, Brazil. An impressive professional career, too. 65 wins, just six losses, one draw, and 33 career knockouts, undefeated in two prior glory appearances. 69.9. 69.9 for Ghazani, coming off a third-round TKO in Shenzhen over Vlad Tuanov. Now his opponent, Mohamed Hendouf, fighting out of Morocco by way of Brussels. He's a veteran of over 40 professional fights, 36 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw, and 8 career knockouts. He took a split decision over Garrick Belay in Leona Glory 70 in his debut. 69.7 for Hindouf, who comes in a winner five of his last six bouts. Then we're scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Again in the lightweight division, Arthur Sawadiak is here to take on Garrick Belay. Sawadiak will step onto the scales first. Fighting out of Poland by way of the United Kingdom. 20 wins, 8 losses, 2 draws, and 8 career knockouts. He made his debut with us at Glory 69 in Dusseldorf last October. The Polish assassin a former world lethweight champion. 69.7 for Swadiak. Now, here comes his opponent, Garrick Belay. Scheduled to make his fifth glory start here with 32 wins, four losses, and 14 career knockouts. He was with us in Lyon at Glory 70 last October, but made his debut with a third round TKO also in Lyon. 69.9 for the former ISKA amateur French national champion. Then we've got more women's super bantamweight action. Jiwon Lee is here to take on Anissa Maxson. Jiwon Lee onto the scales first, fighting out of South Korea. 29 professional fights with 25 wins and four losses. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. She calls herself the Idol Fighter and debuted in Nice in November against Amel Debbie. Last appeared in Strasbourg with us at Glory 64. 55.1 for Jiwon Lee. Now the lady that needs no introduction, really, it's Anissa Mexen, the number one contender in the women's super bantamweight division and a two-time women's super bantamweight champion of the world. But that's just the beginning of her accolades. 11-time French champion, five-time European champion, one of the most decorated female kickboxers in all the world. 55.1. By the way, Anissa looking for her 100th career victory. Her record stands at 99 wins with just five losses and 32 career knockouts.
Then it's the headline super fight of the evening, Roel Manart, here to take on Sergei Maslaboyev. Manart onto the scales first. He'll have some hometown fans here, no doubt, fighting out of the Netherlands. 26 wins, two losses with 13 career knockouts. He is undefeated in two prior glory appearances. We haven't seen him in the glory ring, however, in more than a year. 94.8 for Manart. Now here comes his opponent, Sergei Maslaboyev. Maslaboyev fighting out of Vilnius, Lithuania. 31 wins with just five losses. 20 of those wins coming by way of knockout. His nickname, Kavalda, translated means sledgehammer. He is a WKA and WACO world champion. 92.7 for the European champion. Now, by the way, on a six-fight winning streak, he's won 17 of 18, dating back to 2015. Both of these light heavyweights looking to move ahead in the division. After a brief break from the Superfight Series, we move on to Glory 75 Utrecht. Our main car gets started with a uh, brawl in the welterweight division. Jamie Bates. Here to take on Harut Gregorian. Jamie fighting out of Durham, England. Ranked number nine in the world rankings. 26 wins, seven losses, three of those wins by knockout. He's on a two-fight winning streak, including a unanimous decision in Lyon at Glory 70. 77 even. 77 even for Jamie Bates. Here to take on Harut Gregorian. Currently ranked number two in the division, fighting out of Armenia. This will be Jamie's biggest challenge to date. 48 wins, 12 losses, but 33 of those 48 wins have come by way of knockout for the former welterweight champion of the world. Here to make his 11th glory start. 77 kilos even. Harut, by the way, winner of four of his last five. We then go back to the lightweight division. Three three-minute rounds. Mikhail Palandre is here to take on Tijani Bestati. Palandre fighting out of St. Galmier, France. 30 wins with just three losses. 12 of those wins by knockout. He faced Bruno Gazzani a glory 70 Lyon and uh, lost a hard-fought split decision snapping a seven fight win streak. 69.6 .6 for Palandre. And now his opponent, Tejane Bestati. His 13th glory appearance comes in ranked number two in the glory world rankings. 19 wins, four losses, six of those wins by knockout for the Wonder Boy. He fought for the title last October in Dusseldorf at glory 69 and has won three of his last four including wins over Josh Johnson, Stoyan Korpulovlinski, and Christian Baia. 69.8 for Bastati. Then the co-main event of the evening, three rounds in the middleweight division. Jakob Steuben is here to take on Yusri Belgari. Steuben set to make his third glory start out of Cologne, Germany. 16 wins, two losses, seven of those wins by knockout. 
the courageous one, trained in Muay Thai and kickboxing, earned his first glory win at Glory 68 in Dusseldorf with a split decision over Kevin Van Heekeren. 84.8 for Jakob Steuben. Now, here comes Yusri Belgare, currently ranked number two in the world rankings out of Tunisia. 26 wins, six losses, 13 of those wins by knockout. He's coming off a unanimous decision win in Dusseldorf over Ulrich Bukemi, winner of two of his last three, a contender tournament champion from Glory 40 in Copenhagen. 84.7 for Belgari. And then the main event of the evening, five rounds for the featherweight championship of the world between the champion and a former champion, now the number one contender, Serhei Adamchuk and Pet Patarun Kiatmukau. It's the third time these two have met, dating back to 2017. We'll get the challenger onto the scales first. As I mentioned, ranked number one contender in the world, Serhei Adamchuk, fighting out of the Ukraine by way of Amsterdam. 40 wins, 11 losses, and 15 career knockouts. He became the featherweight champion of the world back at Glory 25 in Milan. 64.8 for Adam Chuk. Now the reigning champion of the world, Pet Patamroon Kiatmu Kao. He's here all the way from the Buriram province of Thailand. Always amazing to look at this record. 163 wins, 36 losses, three draws, and 27 career knockouts. Inside the glory ring, 10 wins versus just one loss. And one scored even. Now on an eight-fight unbeaten streak. 64.9 for the professor, set to make his fourth defense of the belt since taking the belt from Robin Van Roosmullen in Amsterdam at Glory 59. What a way to start 2020. We'll do it in Utrecht at Central Studios tomorrow night. If you can be there, you better be there. The best fighters in the world from the world's number one stand-up combat organization, Glory. All right, Amsterdam, Utrecht, the Netherlands. Are you ready for glory? Oh!